If you ever wondered what seawater looks like when it's evaporated, I'm going to show you that in a little bit and it's not what you expect. All right, so we went down to our local beach and we collected some seawater so that we could evaporate it. My son is now putting it into several different beakers. In the largest beaker, we have the most amount. In addition to just wanting to see what it looks like when it evaporates, we also want to see which beaker would evaporate the fastest because the largest beaker, even though it has more, it does have a larger surface area. Now, now we left these inside our school room to evaporate which it took far longer than when we did this project again and we put the container outside that evaporated very quickly it was a hot dry week and in no time at all we had it evaporated now we noticed something interesting about the salt once it evaporated. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. So it's been several weeks and you can see that all of the water has evaporated and it's left some really nice salt crystals there. And the smaller beakers evaporated faster than the larger beakers, even though the surface area for the smaller ones was smaller than the larger ones. So that was just kind of an interesting little demonstration in addition to watching the water evaporate. Now we also did this project again and we had our bowls outside and it evaporated a lot faster and left some really nice large crystals. But it looked like the crystals were still kind of wet, like the crystals had formed a layer on top of the water. So we went ahead and poked that and allowed it to continue to evaporate, but it still looked like it was kind of wet. So what I realized later on is that there's actually a bit of oil content in that water so if you did this again with just salt, the salt water that you make just using table salt versus water that you evaporate from either a lake or an ocean, then you might notice that the consistency of your salt or the texture is a little bit different. It should still form the same kind of salt crystal, but you can see that there's quite a bit of oil in there. You can see that that's, that residue is is oil actually. So that was something that we were not expecting that was kind of cool to experience. You can see it's quite a bit actually. Something else that we did once we got our salt crystals was that we used our magnifying glass to look at the structure and that was really exciting to see and that was also a nice addition to this project. All right, so if you want to check out some of the other projects that we're doing for our ocean main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget that you can find me on a daily basis by visiting me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.